What is up guys, this is Warrior Research here and what I'm bringing you is a double nuclear on the map combine and I was playing with my clan, well a few clan members but uh, I don't think like two people were in the clan at that time but uh, it's a double nuclear nonetheless, uh, it's a really, I think this was my my first one, my first double nuclear I've ever gotten or my, it was either my first or down the road to my fourth or something like that but so really nice gameplay. I did edit it the best way I could. It's a four minute video. I think I did pretty well. Uh, I just cut out, you know, the most entertaining parts of it. But yeah, uh, we're not here to talk about the gameplay. We're here to talk about the commentary. The commentary is the new guns that came out. Well, the new gun that got leaked on Black Ops 3. And uh, it's like the HG40. I, I just woke up, so I don't know what's going on with that. I saw uh, T-Mars video. I saw a screenshot of it. It, it looks like the MP40. It looks like the MP40 is finally coming back because remember David Von der Hart did did like have an MP40 as his Twitter AVI for like a month or something like that, something around there. And it's pretty cool to see like a, a new gun coming back, but hopefully it's not in supply drops because that's gonna be annoying. I'm still yet to receive. First, first of all, they I think they patched the the how fast you could get a do their crypto keys. That be, I'm I'm pretty sure they patched it because. I'm getting crypto keys really, really slow. Like a first prestige now, I probably got about like 60 crypto keys, like all time. It's it's really annoying. I don't like it, but you know it is what it is. Sherrick, you know, Activision has to make their bread somehow, and you know it's it's honestly like it is what it is. Everyone's getting hyped, but you know damn well you're probably not even going to be getting it. And Nuketown. Apparently, Nuketown is is for free now too. I uh, just I just woke up, like I said, and Nuketown is free now, and the personalization pack too. So, people pre-ordered the Harden edition. They had it for mad long. The game came out in November, and it's March twenty-first now. But people are still getting angry that you know, oh wow, like that doesn't count because there's no point of pre-order. There was a point of pre-order. You had it since November. It's March. Come on, you can't. People think so pessimi pessimistic, I think the word is called, pessimist, pessimistic, some <laughs> that word, but yeah, they, they just, they just think bad about it, I, I don't know why, they just, they, the, they, blah, blah, blah. they just think bad about my situation, you guys had it for a long time, so you know, like, finally came out, but, uh, hopefully the, the, the like, hopefully there, there's gonna be more DLC camos, like, a lot more DLC camo that you could buy. Not with supply drops. Like, buy. Because, I'm telling you, like, su supply drops is, is, is not... Or, su supply drops is not optimal. I, I, I don't like... I personally, I don't like it. I think that you should be able to... You should be able to purchase it as a, as a separate thing. And the weapons, too, because it's all about luck. But, the weapons... They aren't good at all. The weapons... That makes a grand. This is... The that is not good. The only the only good weapon is is the Marshall 16. Decent. That makes I don't think is is that good. That makes red is just something you would mess around with, and not something like you could go super try hard with. It's like not that good. But nonetheless, that that's the way I think DLC weapons should work. That's the way I think DLC, I, honestly, D DLC down the line of Black Ops 3, I think the only thing they should add in, in supply drops is just camos, camos, because the weapons is, is, is going to be pl uh, pay to win, like the, this, and this MP40, it looks, it, I don't know if it, it looks good to me, I, I think, to anybody it will look as MP40. I'm not gonna base it off World I War, I'm not, I don't think the developers are gonna make that OP, if it's gonna be... If it's going to be OP, it's not even going to be OP because it's going to be paid to win. It's going to be alright. It's going to be something like you go roll with when you're having fun with your party and stuff like that. You all go for a gameplay and stuff like that. Like It's not going to be that good. But that's the way I think DLCs should work in Black Ops 3. This has been your boy Research. I hope you guys enjoy my double nuclear. I'm probably going to be uploading this to the clan channel and NFL sniper channel. But thank you guys. It's your boy Research. I'll see you guys later. Peace.